What up guys, Janus here with another Cinema 4D tutorial. This one will be on how to make some sweet grass in Cinema 4D. And it's really really simple and easy to do, but you get really sweet results. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and show you how to do it. So first open up your Cinema 4D and open up a new project. And then we can go ahead and add a cube. Uh, you can you can have it whatever size you want, but I'm a big man, kind of like this. And I'm gonna put on a little fillet, yeah, right here, fillet, whatever it's pronounced like. Uh, and just a little bit, so it looks a little more round and smooth. Uh, you don't need that, but I think it looks sweet. Okay, so we have our ground ready. This would be the ground that the grass will be on. So you can just begin by selecting the cube and pressing this button here which makes it editable or you can just press C that works as well. And now that it's editable you will select it again and click this uh, the fifth symbol down I believe yes and you should just be able to click the top part of the uh, cube and select that and it will be orange or yellowish so that's what you want you want to keep it selected and you want to go up here to next to MoGraph where it says hair and you can see it, we have some options there add hair feathers object or fur and some other stuff uh, but we want to add fur because the fur is actually gonna be the uh, grass and now we already see some results. We've gotten some grass right here. So let's see how it looks when we render it. So yeah, that 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 looks more like hair than grass now because it's brown and and it's yeah, it, it doesn't look that much as grass yet, but we're getting there. So you're gonna select the fur and begin by putting this uh, count. Uh, I for for the size of the cube it. Uh, I'm gonna put it up to 20,000 uh, so we see we get more straws of grass or hair or fur uh, but if you have a like bigger object or some other object like a sphere or something like that uh, you need to adjust the setting so it looks nice and filled out if that's what you're going for so now we have a nice amount of straws uh, and you want to go down to this randomizer which says zero degrees and just pop that up a little bit to around 20 25 I like to put it at uh, 20 and maybe adjust the length a little it's 20 meters now so I put that up to 29 that looks pretty sweet maybe even 30 32 yeah that's good <clears throat> and now if we render it again uh, it looks a lot more like grass except that it's brown so what we have to do is go down to the material menu here where the fur has created a new material which is the fur material uh, which is the color or the all over material of the fur slash grass so we're going to double click that and go change some options here. Select color and you see this uh, kind of gradient here. You want to go to the left uh, point here and s go to green and select a really dark green. Not really dark but you know dark green and yeah that's pretty good. And you're going to go to this right pointer select that and choose a lighter green like that. More clear green. and yeah, that that's that's pretty much uh, thing for for the grass. Now it look now it should look very good. Uh, at least the grass. Yeah, you see it looks real natural. The grass is uh, the grass looks uh, uh, fairly realistic. But now I'm gonna get to uh, making the uh, dirt material for the ground. Otherwise, we won't have any realistic looking grass unless we have dirt. Okay, so we're gonna go to, ma to the materials tab here and click File, New Material, and double-click on the new material that I just created, 
and go to color texture and select surfaces earth okay so we got like uh, we got our planner here so we just click the uh, the little picture here <coughs> and take the sea level the blue one and change that to a really dark brown a little lighter maybe like that and change the green one to a little lighter brown and take the white one and change it to almost the same color but you get something that looks like this but it has some sharp edges and we don't want that in the dirt material so we're just gonna change go to the level one where it says fifty percent and change that to a hundred percent and then we can play around a little with the frequency here which is kinda like the seed if I get it right or something like that maybe it's uh, how many of these dots that sounds more logical uh, so just play around with that till you get a little like uh, dots and, and a little uh, white spots in there on the that one we can shift the colors to a little lighter so we get more of these I'll take the frequency down a bit to something like that. Something like that. Okay, that's good. Now let's go to the bump because otherwise, if we don't add a little bumping to the material, it won't, it won't look uh, natural. So, uh, check bump and go to texture, surfaces, rust, and we just wanna click on the picture and put the rust amount uh, have it around 50% and the frequency up okay now if we apply it it should look pretty good oh select the cube and add the material to it and let's just render and see how it looks that looks pretty sweet and maybe we want to see if we can uh, maybe we can make it cubic see if that looks any better it pretty much looks the same and now let's add some lights to it so it looks a little better let's put a light over here go into the light settings shadow shadow map soft uh, I usually use uh, Grayscale Gorillas light kit for this, but uh, I can't assume that everyone has that, so I'll use the normal lights. Okay, and copy that and put one over here. Copy that again and put it over here. And zoom in and we render again. Render in here. Now we got some really sweet looking grass in ground here. So that's that's pretty much it. It's uh, a real simple effect, but it looks really really sweet. And yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you later.